Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Ostrov. My name is Axfield and we are playing what I'm calling the Pottery Update. So I'm going to play through the game and we're going to check out the new assets, which is of course the pottery, which they call the Earthware. And we've also got new rooftops for the row houses, so I want to check that out. And uh, I want to get there as quickly as possible, so today I want to focus on getting all the production material up and ready so that would be the bricks as well as the limestone so i'm going to see if i can get that done if you like city building games crafting games or just base building games in general uh, then this is the channel to be and please do uh, remember to like and subscribe and also to press the bell notification to stay updated on this series and also other games similar to this one so i'm going to just fast forward through this so what I'm doing here is I'm building a new forestry, so I want to move my old forestry, I want to move it away. As you can see, I've already started to close off the town square, which I call it. And um, so I want to move the forestry towards this side. We've also got two charcoal cones that we're going to build there. And uh, so once this charcoal runs out, I'm going to also go ahead and delete this one. And um, so now also I do want to look for a space where I can do... Uh, the brickworks uh, let me just see uh, where exactly is the brickworks here we go right so i'm looking for space to place the brickworks and uh, i think ideally it would be good to place it somewhere around about here and uh, you know what why not let's just do that i'm gonna place the brickworks here that's perfectly aligned there and uh, let's just also get the lime works up and running okay Let's see if we can get a nice space for this. Hmm. Okay, so my idea is not to build the city towards this side. I'll just do production buildings. And um, towards this side, I'll probably do some more farmland. So I'm just looking for kind of like an appropriate place here for the lime works. Uh, so it needs to be relatively close to the water. We do need the water for this production. For both the brickworks as well as the lime. So I've got so much uneven ground here though. That's the only problem. Uh, maybe if we can squeeze it in here. Maybe. No. Go on. Okay, never mind. I think I'm gonna just go ahead and place it kind of like here. If they allow me to. Oh my goodness, this is not working. Alright. Here's a little spot it seems to be. Add it here now. There we go. Okay, then I'm gonna have to move it like this, which is fine. So let's just leave it like so. I'm gonna just do that. Alright. Okay, then also I'm gonna have to do like a platform as we need the water. So I'm gonna just go ahead and place a platform here. And uh, let's just put a game into fast forward. Okay, so we're going to have all the material production going here. I think ideally it might be also a good idea to get a clay pit here, which there is a space here. So I'm going to eventually move my clay pit and my sand pit. I'm going to move to this direction as well. So there is space for the clay pit and oh well, we've got a space here for the sand pit also. So I can get all my building uh, materials I can produce on this side and um uh, Maybe I can just get another forestry also here. Why not? I think it would be good to just get everything from one central point. But uh, yeah. So I'm almost done with the forestry here. So what I've also done is I've finished another cow shed over here. And we've got a few. Um, I did buy a few here. You can see I've got currently. I've got four cows and one bull. And they just got a new baby bull there as well. So I still need another two oxen here for the farm. But uh, I'll sort that out in a while. 
And uh, let's just see, we've got people from Balaklia. Can sell 300 Sunflower. Well, so let's just do that. And I'm probably going to buy some extra iron. So let's just maybe go with 400. Uh, my money is looking very good at this stage. I'm at 3,100 coin. And uh, I'm purchasing quite a lot of stuff. So I think I'm not doing bad at this stage. But you can see here uh, within the previous episode I finished the church. So it's looking nice here on top of the hill. I think it's an appropriate place. Looks really nice. Especially if you look at it from this angle. It's quite high and uh, you can see it from all angles. Okay. Right. So we've got the second forestry here. And my intention is to destroy this one now. So I'm going to just go ahead and say make empty. Make empty. Really make empty. And uh, I'm going to also remove the workers here. And let's just go ahead and assign the workers on this side. We're going to need the three workers. And uh, I'm also going, to, also going to tell them to start producing bark. Okay, so we're going to need the bark once we've got the limestone. And I think we need the bark for the limestone as well as for the leather. So I'm going to just go ahead and just let them produce some additional bark. I'm going to let them go ahead and finish this house as we do need the extra labors, laborers. Now I do have a few extra hands already so it is making a difference. And uh, But once this house is done then I'm going to open it up for uh, the lime kiln on this side. So we need to get that going and then from there we can build the rest of the production buildings. Just to get our materials and uh, I've also got the orchard that I'm gonna set up on this side maybe I'm gonna do two or three you know see if I can squeeze them in there and uh, then I'm considering doing maybe some row houses and marketplaces I'm gonna just extend it towards this side as well see if I can get a few uh, fishing docks in here as well uh, it's quite a steep slope so I'm not sure I'm gonna just check if I can build here uh, you see it's very steep so I'm only allowed to build a fishing dock towards this side which is okay that's fine maybe I can get the trading post here the water trading post nope <laughs> also not oh that's a bummer Okay, well, I think then what I am going to do is I'm going to maybe place the trading dock. I'm going to place here and I'm going to do a breach right over here. Alternatively, I can also do, might be a better idea to get the trading dock here, you know. Thinking about it, because we've got our storages all here. So you don't want the people to travel too far. So you know, maybe it might be a better idea to get the trading dock here. Yeah. I'm gonna rather do that. Okay, so we've got another additional house done here. So I think at this stage we should have a good amount of workers coming in. It says still 12 open vacancies, so I'm not quite sure why we've got so oh you know why I think we've got the open vacancies is because they like building up the hay here yeah. they're filling the hay dryer so i think it's all the laborers that they need to fill that that's the only thing that i can think of now so while they're busy uh, building the lime cone i'm gonna see if i can just do a little bit of extra decorations here so we've got the school over here, so it might be appropriate to just put some benches up, you know. Let's see if we can just maybe do two sets of benches here. Just get it nice and line. There we go. Yeah, that looks nice. And then also, um, still need to do like a proper graveyard. You see, so we've got... The empty graves here we haven't had any casualties so that's a good thing i think we've got a very good uh how can i say it's been going very well in the town <laughs> not having any casualties so i want to just get the appropriate fencing here i want to build like a proper graveyard so uh i think yeah this is probably going to be the most appropriate 
So let's do it like so. I'm gonna do the fence around. Let's pull it straight through like this. Just leave enough space for extra graveyards. Alright, so let's see if we can also place an arch here. Space is a little bit too narrow, so let me just maybe take this one away. I'm gonna just take this side also away, just to center it. So I'm not gonna do the big arch. Let's do it like so. Yeah, I think that's good. And then we can close it off. Okay, perfect. There we go. So we've got kind of like a, a graveyard set up here. We can just maybe do some of these cottonwood trees. I think it's a, appropriate for the graveyard. Let's do one, two... Three and also one, two, three. There we go. That's not perfectly square, but that's okay. Okay, so we've got the same messenger again. Let's just see what we can sell. Only the sunflower. Sunflower oil. Okay, well, I'm going to leave it at that. I'm not going to bother buying anything else at this stage. Okay, cool. So they've finished the kiln here. There we go. So the laborers will start filling that up. And then from here, they're going to start building the brickworks here now. See, we've got a decent amount of hay, so the hay barracks has already got 3,100 in. And uh, then I've got quite a few, uh, or a, a bit of hay here on the dryers. So we can still fill the, the barracks is pretty full, I think. I'm just thinking now, I want to maybe... We've got plenty of wood at this stage, so... Maybe, let's just see if we can do the scheduling here. So I'm going to maybe just tell them to stop working November, October. Yeah, maybe just for those two months. They can help with the farms. So I'm going to just schedule them to not work on those two months. And uh just want to see what else we can do here. Also, the ladies working at the thatchery. I've also got them off duty for October and November, and uh, but I'm thinking I'm going to maybe let them also not work in March, so in that way they can help with the seeds, spreading the seeds on the crop fields. So I'm going to just do that, and for the fishermen, yeah, I think let's just maybe assign them not to work in March. Then they can also help with the seeds, and then also November, I'm going to let them not work. Okay, so they need to work over the winter season so that they can dry the fish. Um, I'm sure they're going to have enough fish. Uh, if they don't, I'll <laughs> tell them not to work. And I think, yeah, I think we're okay here for the boatyard. I think we can maybe even go as far as to take five months away. Stone camp, we've got plenty of stone, so we can also assign them to not work October and November. Why not? Maybe even September. I'm going to just take the three months. Cool, then they can also work with the crop fields. And uh, then I think we're pretty good. We're good to go from here.
Alright, so they've got pretty much all the material that they need um, to finish the brickworks. So I'm quite excited to get that going. And uh, we do need charcoal, however, you know. Thinking maybe I must move my charcoal cones towards this side. Might be more appropriate. So let's take this one away. Uh, they can finish that one and carry on with the one. And let's just place another one on this side because we are going to need a whole lot on this side. Okay, there we go. I think I'm going to just go ahead and place it over here. Nice. You can see the town shaping up very nicely. So the idea is now, once I've got all the production material up and running, uh, so the bricks as well as the limestone, I'm going to let it expand towards the side of the town. And we're going to just do a bunch of row houses going into this direction. And then we'll take it from there. I'm going to still decide on how I want to do the layout. Uh, but we can see it's a nice elevation here. So I'm thinking of doing the row houses maybe a little bit more to the center of this little stretch. And then we can do farmhouses around the outskirts. That's maybe an idea. And just plant a whole bunch of trees. I think that's going to look nice once all the trees are grown. So what I also did off screen, uh, in this granary I've added onions uh, as well as garlic. So I produced a whole bunch of that. So you can see I've still got a 250 onions as well as a thousand garlic. So I'm still looking at things that I can bring into the granary. Just to ensure that we've always got food, you know, so... I'm not sure, I haven't placed the horseradish yet. Okay, so that's another thing that I can do. I can add the horseradish. As well as the marrow. I saw there were some houses with a decent amount of marrow. So let's just go ahead and add the horseradish and then also the marrow. Okay, cool. Let's just carry on like that. So it definitely seems like the farming is going better. You can see that they're definitely quicker on gathering everything. And I've assigned more workers now to do the spreading of the seed. So I think within the next year our um, imp fields are going to be much better as well. That is something that I can actually import. So I'm thinking I'm going to maybe send a messenger to Marefa. Uh, that's where we can get the hemp. So... Let's just go ahead and send a message to there. We can also sell a couple of things. Um, I do want to add the salt here uh, to the trading post because Marefa does buy salt. So let's just maybe go with a thousand. Just for now. We can still add a few commodities on a later stage. Okay, super excited to get the brick works, works up and running. So then from there, I definitely want to get the barber surgery also going. So once we've got the barber surgery, uh, we can get some tax money from that also. Um, in my previous experiences with the barber surgery, it makes pretty good money. So the tax money that you get from that is really nice. So let's see, uh, we can sell 4,000 charcoal. Why not? And also 800 sunflower oil. Oops. Here we go. And we're going to be able to do apples also soon. But I think instead of the apples, I'll rather change it into dried fruit. And um, yeah, once we've got the leather, that's another thing. We've got infinite lime uh, supply on this map. So I'll be able to sell as much shoes as I want. And that's going to be really nice. Shoes are probably your most valuable commodity. Um, to sell here or the base commodity so it's got a high value but you've also got a good production rate on that so i do like to do the shoes 
Okay, I don't think I'm gonna bother with anything else. Maybe let's just buy why not? Let's just buy two cows additionally. Okay, we've got the space in the two sheds, so I might as well. And I think once I've got these production buildings up and running, I think I want to get a dairy production going. So I'm not quite sure where would be the best to do that. Uh, maybe somewhere in this little square over here. Okay, let's just make this really make empty. want to get this logs out here. And uh, let's also say to really empty this charcoal kiln. So now as I'm playing the game, I'm just doing like little splotches of trees everywhere, you know. So you can see it's already starting look, looking more lively here in this little square. With all the trees that I've planted right at the beginning. Just gives it like a more natural look. Okay, so the brickworks is up. Uh, let's maybe do two batches at a time. And uh, I'm going to also assign the laborers here. Let's just see. Hmm. I'm not quite sure what we need here. Let's just say laborers by cart. And I'm going to go ahead and assign two workers here by the brickworks. I think that should be fine. Okay, so we've got the messenger now from Marefa, and I'm going to just go ahead and buy all the hemp we can. And let's just maybe buy another 100, or let's do 200 warm clothes. We are making decent money at this stage. So. And I'm going to sell another 800 sunflower oil, and we can go ahead and sell a 1,000 salts as well. Here we go. Nice. Okay, so I see uh, I did assign two workers. They say the minimum amount of workers you need is two in any case. So it's good I did that. I'm going to just go ahead and move that platform. I'm going to build that one first. Okay, so we need the water for the brickworks as well as the lime. Now let's see what we need here. Okay, we need clay, sand, water and charcoal. Okay, that's perfect. So like I said, I think I'm going to just go ahead and move the clay pit as well as the sand pit. Let's just go ahead and do that. I'm going to place my clay pit maybe around about here. And uh, let's also get the sand pit. And let's move it towards here. Okay, great. So yeah, this is nice because now I can obviously uh, delete these two pits. Uh, yeah. And then we can use the space to maybe do additional production buildings or houses either way. Okay, I can demolish that one. Uh, let's just destroy these resources. They're not emptying it out. So, okay, I'm going to let them take down that forestry. Okay, now we've got the platform as well. That's pretty cool. So they can just go ahead and fetch the water they need here to do the lime and the bricks. Okay, cool. So you can see here yeah, it's definitely going much better. The way I've assigned the laborers now, it's definitely working. So we're going only at the beginning of November and we're definitely going to get all the fields. So yeah, I'm happy with that.
Okay, I don't think there's anything I need from Balaglia, so I'm gonna leave that. So I've added horseradish and marrow now also to the granary. And uh, I think what we can do now is we can just build another market stall. Yeah, kind of like in the same square that I've got currently. Okay, and let's assign another lady. And so from here we can do the marrow. And I'm going to do the horseradish. Okay, then after that, uh, once I've got my dairy production up and running we can do butter and cheese also from this stall I think it's pretty important that I look at building a forestry somewhere on this side as well. Because now they've got to carry the firewood all the way, uh, literally from the other side of the town, so definitely need to change that. So I can see the population is doing pretty well. We're just under 100 population now. Go ahead and sell the sunflower oil and um, what I'm thinking now is I want to maybe I want to maybe remove the charcoal from the trading post just for now uh, not that there is anything but uh, let's just remove that in any case because whatever charcoal I'm getting in now we're gonna need to use it for both the kiln as well as the brickworks So we're still waiting on that. Here we go. We need that two workers. And yeah, it's pretty cool. I think we managed to get everything from the fields. Definitely looked like it. So we've got a whole bunch of hemp there. You can see there. That's nice. That's almost the same amount as what we imported. So that's really good. We've got a whole bunch of wheat. Uh, my wheat... Yeah, it is a little bit of a problem. I mean, I need to use it for something so maybe I can just do some flour place a windmill somewhere on this side oh why not yeah let's just go ahead and place a windmill here so that they can just go ahead and process the wheat and then we can sell the flour also to the town Just to keep that production flowing. Mm. 
Now you can see here we need a whole bunch of charcoal here just to do one batch of bricks. So we need 4,000 charcoal. So that's why I say it might be a good idea to, to just get another forestry on this side. Just gonna go ahead and sell that as well. Okay. Right, and now I'm gonna assign them to do the windmill, so they're gonna just go ahead and set that up. Okay, so at this stage I've got eight carts that I can work with, and uh. I think it's pretty much time now to get another card parking here, which we can maybe add another four cards. Um, so yeah, almost getting to 100 population. I think it's important now to just get some extra cards building now. But uh, let's go ahead and maybe place a forestry here somewhere. I'm going to just go ahead and do it like so. Just turn it the other way around. There we go. And then we can just maybe do another one like this. If I can do it next to it. Somehow. No. Okay, let's just place it like so. Why not? Okay, so we've got the windmill here, so let's maybe just assign one worker. And uh, I'm going to also have to open up a space at the granary for the flower. And uh, then just let's go to this marketplace and then we can add the flower also here yeah, as a commodity that we can trade with. Okay, cool. So they're already busy with the first batch of bricks, so we're going to get our first thousand bricks. That's really nice. Now we're waiting for some charcoal here for the kiln. And uh, I still need to assign some workers here, so... I'm going to just add the laborers for now, but I'm not going to add any workers at this stage. Until we've got the quick lime. We can only really start producing after we've got the quick lime. But in any case, guys, that is it from me for today's episode. I did manage to get the buildings up for the lime and the bricks. And um, then in the next episode, I think I'm going to endeavor to get the first row house up. And then we can just spread it out towards this side. And uh, then we're also going to have everything that we need to start doing the pottery. So we can check out both the row houses, the new roofs, as well as the pottery. But thank you so much for watching and I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye bye.